Corey Wood's family has hope. After 13 years, their questions might be answered. The new Angelina County Sheriff Greg Sanchez has confirmed he will reopen Corey Wood's case. We are willing to open up the case, uh, open the case back up and look into that and uh, have our investigators look into it and possibly some outside investigators as well. Corey's sister Darcy Holloway says they want some closure. A long 13 years and we are ready for justice and our family needs peace. Sanchez says Corey's family has done a lot behind the scenes and their discoveries have raised some questions. Uh, the autopsy and some other things they had done uh, put a lot of question marks uh, on that case. So that's why I think it needs to be uh, looked into. Last May, Corey's mother, Joy Bruner, had his body exhumed for a new autopsy, hoping his death would be ruled something other than suicide, but nothing prepared them for what they did learn. Well, we found out that four of his bones were stolen. The forensic pathologist who did the second autopsy ruled Corey's death undetermined, and that reinforced the family's drive to get answers. The and days the leading up to his death were not depression. It wasn't anything consistent of a suicide. His family said he made plans, set dates, bought new tires. In fact, we just knew Corey it got was a $10 a day raise and promotion that day. Corey's grandmother Yvonne Marshall says Corey called her the night before he died. He was excited about his raise. He was excited about going to breakfast with a girl the next morning. He was going to come by my house that morning. But he never made it. There's been a lot of doubt uh, from uh, from residents out there in that area and in that community about whether it was a suicide or not. The family says for 13 years they have been trying to get answers from Angelina County and their lack of transparency has made them even more suspicious. I just think that they just went in and said suicide and didn't do anything else. It has been never ending for 13 years. We have never given up on this. In Angelina County, Leah Hughes, KTRE East Texas News 9.